Amanda Blom is a mountain at the base of Everest, and it really is considered one of the gems of the Himalaya. And the name Amanda Blom actually means mother's jewel, and it refers to a feature on the mountain, which is a massive ice serac, which is the de Blom. And it's a, a very serious hazard you have to climb around, but also the mountain is just quite amazing. It's really beautiful. It's one of the most photographed mountains in the Himalaya region. So we're up here, my altimeter tells me it's 17,200 feet. I could definitely feel the altitude up here on Rendula Pass. It was very worth it. Behind us, we have views of Everest, Lhotse, and Makalu. It's just a beautiful day up here. I love climbing in the Himalaya. I've often said that Himalayan climbing suits me really well because I'm not the most technical climber and I'm not the fastest climber, but I have great endurance and I do well at high altitudes. Amma de Blom is an expedition mountain because it is so high and so a mountain of that height around 7,000 meters usually takes around four to six weeks to climb and um, we were very, very fortunate with weather and acclimatization on this trip and it took us 13 days to climb. Prior to going to Amma de Blom, I did reach out to um, Sherry Kearney, who was one of the women who was on the 1982 Amma de Blom expedition that was outfitted by Eddie Bauer. The women who climbed Amma de Blom in 1982 were pioneers and way ahead of their time. And when I was climbing on Amma de Blom just a few weeks ago, there was multiple points of the trip where it occurred to me that this was really technical climbing on really exposed terrain. and. It was much more technical than Everest and much more difficult in a lot of ways, much steeper, much more endurance required for it. And I have so much respect for those women, all eight of them who were able to successfully get to the summit in 1982 when barely anybody had even been to the summit of Amma de Blanc. It's a pretty amazing feat.